while we had one missing in the previous heat this one all lanes full and a high quality field for this second heat athletes waiting to get themselves introduced as we say a number of the British athletes competed in this arena and the national championships last weekend as we see the lineup in full Dina Asher Smith goes in lane four the British record holder having taken the record from Asher Phillip who's a couple of lanes away from her European champion outdoors Gina Luckenkemper of Germany as well in lane three so we see Bianca Williams who's bounced back to great form had a short break to welcome a, a new young member of her family in the last couple of years but is back competing at the top level an inspiration I'm sure to many Bianca Williams who finished fifth in the national championships last weekend world championship finalist from back in 2015 Jamaica's Natasha Morrison she's in two she's run 7.3 a couple of weeks ago here's the European champion outdoors over 100 meters helped Germany get an exciting relay gold in her home nation as well last summer outdoors Gina Luckenkemper who's not heading for the European indoors neither is this lady but Dina Asher Smith 7.04 she clocked in Karlsruhe in the opening meeting of this tour this year the British record holder now at 60 meters indoors and 100 meters outdoors Destiny Smith Barnett comes here in good form. She took the bronze medal in the US Championships in Albuquerque last weekend, finishing behind the fabulous performances of Aaliyah Hobbs. Asha Phillip, former British record holder, as we mentioned, lost that 7.06 British record to Dina Asher Smith a couple of weeks ago. The Scottish athlete, Alicia Rees, who set her personal best this year in January, 7.27. And on the outside, the newly crowned national champion of Italy, Gloria Hooper, who won her national title with that 7.31 copy you can see there in Ancona. The fastest non-automatic qualifier for the previous heat, by the way, was Olivia Fotopoulou with 7.36. So if the athlete finishes outside the top three, they've got to be faster than 7.36 and 7.37 to make the final. Away cleanly, Asher Smith got an excellent start with Smith Barnett alongside her. Also going well is Asher Phillip. It's Asher Smith who takes it from Smith Barnett. And I think Luken Kemper came through in the end to challenge for that third position. 7.04. Keep an eye on the correction of that time if we get one, because that would equal Dina Asher Smith's British record. If it gets corrected any lower, it will be a new mark. And it is indeed corrected to 7.03 officially. So Dina Asher-Smith for the second time in this indoor season has set a new British record and that one has come in the heats. Dina Asher-Smith was hungry to revise her personal best before the start of this indoor season. Look at that start, she's in the center lane and she drives away. Now, it was at this point in the race that was significant for me. I thought, will she just ease off? Will she qualify at ease? But no, she wanted to revise those figures once more. And 7.03, the fastest British woman in history, and we've still got the final to go. Well, the first three or four strides were what set the race up, weren't they? She absolutely flew out of the blocks. And as you mentioned earlier, Jenny, with some of the athletes specifically competing in some 60 metres at top level this winter, not necessarily with the view of going to the European indoors like Asher Smith isn't, but just specifically to work on these kind of parts of her race. So to come and lower that and inch it very close to that magic seven second barrier, that is another marker laid down for Asher Smith. 7.03. We'll confirm the place. It was very tight for third between Luke and Kemper and Philip for that third automatic spot. But as I thought with the naked eye, Luke and Kemper did get it. 7.27. Asher Phillip was 7.28. Uh, we'll go through as one of the fastest time qualifiers. We'll wrap all of that up for you very shortly.